Now that we have successfully filled out our occupant and fixture load schedule based on our use group schedule, we can see the occupancy load and fixtures required for this building. Now we're going to create our code plans. Going to level one, we will say this is going to be our code egress plan. I'm going to change the scale so it's a little bit easier to see. Now let's say we want to make an egress plan. SawBIM has imported a room tag that will create your occupancy loads for you. Simply click add room tag and there is a new room tag called room tag OL. Add this room tag to each room in your project. A quick shortcut is to select the room tag, right click it, go to select all instances visible in view, and now you can simply copy that using the copy command on the top left, pull the room tags down, and just change their type. Now you can see here we have all of our room tags in our project. The real magic of saw BIM is how these room tags are populated. Currently Revit restricts the use of calculated data in tags. Saw BIM solves this problem. Simply save your project, close out of Revit architecture, run saw BIM's code calcs version 1.0 should be on your desktop, select your project from the update floor plan tags browser. Select your project and click open. Now click the button called update occupancy data. Saw BIM code calcs is now inputting the last saved data into your egress plans. Now if we go to our level one egress plan and we zoom in we can see all of our egress calculations have been filled in for us. The great thing about this is these are room tags associated to each room. So as you can see as I change room the data will change based on your room.